Hi guys, in today's video, we're going to have a look at two different data sources in Power BI, SharePoint List and SQL Server. And then we're going to compare their performance when, it, when we are dealing with large data sets. So imagine you have a SharePoint List, which is a large list. That means it has more than 5,000 items in it. Uh, so then if you are going to use it in your report in Power BI, uh, then you will be using SharePoint List as a data source which has some performance implications. Uh, on the other hand, if you, if you go with SQL Server and you have a similar large data set of more than 5,000 items, then you, there are certain ways which you can use to, uh, to have much, much better performance when it comes to generating your reports and viewing your report. So before we look into that, uh, when we are talking about Power BI uh, data sources, there are two different types of data sources that are available. Data, direct query versus import. Now, direct query is much preferred for and works very well for large data sets because A, it doesn't import or copy anything in your Power BI. So it is basically uh, curing your data source directly to fetch the data and it refreshes the data as well as you interact with your report. So if you are scrolling or if you are um, sorting or filtering on your report, then it can automatically refresh your data. Whereas if you are using an import data source, uh, all the data will be imported in your Power BI desktop. Uh, it will be stored in your Power BI desktop and then the data will be used in, in, your, in your visuals. Now with import, there is also a 1 GB data set limit. So if you have a very large data set with very complex fields in it, uh, then you might hit into that 1 GB data set limit as well. And this is, uh, this is quite common if you have complex uh, fields and image fields, for example, in your data set. All right, so when we're talking about SharePoint lists, uh, the only option that we have for uh, data source is import because SharePoint list doesn't support a direct query. Whereas if we are talking about SQL Server, we have the option to either go with import or with direct query. Now, obviously the preferred option would be direct query if you are dealing with a large data set uh, to avoid any disruptions or to avoid having to store that data locally. All right, so let's jump into the demo. So for today's demo, we are going to have a large uh, list in our SharePoint. So this is basically a list that has around 10,000 items. It is just to stimulate, just to simulate a large uh, list. Uh, and if you are using a SharePoint list for your transactional data, then you, you, you will be hitting into those, uh, into the scenarios of large list at one point or the other. All right. So we have this list over here and what we also have is uh, XU works. So as you know, SQL List Manager, we can use it to basically replicate and synchronize data in a SQL Server. So we that's what we have done here. So we have a replication, which basically replicate this list into our SQL Server database. And if I open up that SQL Server database, you will see that we are, uh, we are replicating and storing that list in here. And if I just execute my query right now, just a quick execute to show you that it has around uh, 10,000 uh, 10, items in it, which has been synchronized and replicated in this table. And we are going to use a SQL view uh, in our report. All right, so let's jump into Power BI. Uh, now let's start off by using SharePoint list as a data source for your report. And we'll see how it works. So we'll get data from another source and this should, pop, uh, this should pop up a list of uh, sources that are available. Now, if you go here, you can see SharePoint online list here. If I connect, now this is where you need to provide your SharePoint list URL. So we'll just go back to a SharePoint site and then copy the URL, we'll pop it in here. Now there's no, not many options available uh, and, and there's no option available for direct query here as well. So it will be using import and we'll see that it, uh, later when we use SQL Server, then uh, we can see that there are multiple options available. 
Uh, now that we can see all the lists that are available in our SharePoint site, let's select the list that we're going to use for, for this demo. Uh, and let's just load it up. Now, once we load it up, it, what will happen is it will create the model and then it will load all the data from your SharePoint list into Power BI. Now, as SharePoint list use import, it, uh, in order for the visuals to utilize the data, the data first needs to be downloaded and imported in Power BI desktop. So you can see the data has, is now being imported from our SharePoint list. It might take a bit long time, but we are only using a, a simulation data. So we don't have any complex fields, but if you have more complex fields, then it might take a little longer than that. Or maybe in some scenarios, much longer, depending on how much data you are consuming. All right, now, now that we have our data here, let's just start by creating a report. And we're just going to use a very, very basic visual here. Uh, I'm just gonna take a few fields. All right, and okay, so now you can see that all the data is, uh, is loaded in the report. Now, if I make any changes to my list, I need to refresh the data. So let's just do that. Let's just create a new item here. Uh, right, let's just save that. Now, in order for me to get this data in the report, I need to refresh it because the data is stored locally here, so I can't get anything unless I refresh it. All right, so as you can see, if I refresh the data, it will again recreate the model and then load the data again. So this will happen every time you want to, or you need to refresh your data to fetch the latest data from SharePoint list. Uh, this can be a bit cumbersome uh, if, you have, if you have a lot of data and if, you, uh, if your data is changing quite frequently as well. Uh, so that's a bit of a pain point. It also takes a bit of while, a bit while to do some sorting as well. So you can see um, my newest data has been input. But that that again, that's a bit of a problem when you are using a data source that that only supports import. Now let's let's uh, let's use the same data from our SQL Server and see uh, how's, how does that perform. So let's create a new report now. Now this will open up a new instance of Power BI. And this time we are going to use SQL Server as our data source. Right, so it takes a bit of time to load it up, okay. Um, all right, let's let's use SQL Server so we can select SQL Server from here. And you can see here, when we are using SQL Server, we have the option. We have the option of selecting data connectivity model, which can either be input or direct query. Now for large data sets, it is, uh, it is preferred and recommended to use the data query um, because it is much faster and it doesn't require storing any data locally. So we're going to use this data so database name that we have created for this. And this time we're going to use direct query. So you can see the loading time is, is going to be pretty instantaneous. So we're going to use this list uh, view, uh, sorry, this view, SQL view for uh, loading our data. Let's load it up. And you can see it just creates the model and, uh, and basically queries the data directly from data source instead of storing it locally. So that's why it is pretty much instantaneous. And if I create a visual here, and just use this. I just, uh, I'll just show you here that you can see that it has, it also has the data that, uh, that we created and uh, Basically, in order for me to refresh the data, uh, it just I just need to interact with the report for it to refresh the data. And if I, let's say,
refresh data from here, then you'll see it is pretty instantaneous as well. And if I go back to my list, let's say I've created another item. Six, six. And let me save it now. As we know that our SQL Server replication is running here, which is synchronizing the data to our SQL Server database. Uh, all I need to do here is just refresh it. And it is going to refresh the data set and going to fetch the latest data for me as well. So you can see the latest uh, data that we just entered has also is also visible. So that's all for today, guys. Uh, hope you have uh, uh, hope you have enjoyed this session. And just to summarize, uh, when it comes to large data sets or large lists, uh, it's SQL Server is a much better option when it comes to performance and just you you creating reports in Power BI as compared to SharePoint list. And if you are using SQL list and you can easily replicate and synchronize uh, large list data from SharePoint list into SQL Server and then utilize it in your reports. So hope you enjoyed this session. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us.